Okay, so uh, today's just going to be a review of a little bit of everything we've done so far. So, uh, most of you guys should be able to see my TV here at home, um, and you should have your stuff either split screened or you can kind of just listen to me. So, we're going to do number one. It says R cubed is 34. So, we know that we got an R, so we can write that. Okay, cubed, so we know squared means to the power of two. Cubed means to the third, so a little three. three. Okay, is is often, well, it's not often, it is equal, okay? So, that means equals 34. And this is the algebraic expressions. So, this is going to be our final answer. They're not asking us to do anything fancy. It's just straight up. That's what we're going to write. R cubed um, is 34. Okay. Um, let's go down to number three. It says 29 minus 27. Okay. We're going to straight up write it like we would read it. We're not solving. So um, some of you guys did this wrong the other day. Um, and just an FYI, if you're curious of how you did on your assignment, you can go back to that assignment and then go in the comments and I either wrote you a comment or you can click back on the assignment and see which ones you got wrong. I put an X on there, okay? So 29 minus 27, and it should look exactly like that. 29 minus 27, okay? Number five says 24 minus 10. So same thing. Um, we're not solving. We are not solving because some of you guys kept solving the other day and you shouldn't have been. Okay, so 24 minus 10. And we're going to leave it just like that and we're going to circle it because that's our final answer. Okay, the next section talks about verbal expressions. So verbal is a key indicator as far as um, what you should be doing. So verbal means exactly that. Um, sorry, somebody else was trying to log on. Okay, verbal means exactly that. So we're going to write it just how we would read it. So this says 6 plus n. So we're going to write that just like that. Um, and I don't, you don't have to spell out six, but if you want to, you totally can. Okay, so um, you can say six plus n. And as you can see, my writing's not very nice on here because I'm not used to it just like you guys. Okay, so six plus n. Number nine says five cubed. So you're going to write it just like that. You can write five it's to the power of three, so it's cubed. That's our final answer, so we're going to circle it. Okay, number 11. These are evaluating expressions. So it says seven plus five. Evaluate means to solve. Okay? Evaluate means to solve, which means we should have an actual numerical answer, an actual number for um, our lesson, whatever that may be. Okay, so 7 plus 5 is going to be exactly that. So 7 plus 5 is going to be 12. You guys all with me so far? Somebody give me a head nod. Okay, if you need me to slow down, tell me. Yes. Yes, slow down, or yes, you're with me? Okay, 13 says de 15 decreased by a number. What does it mean, decreased? Decreased means subtract. Okay, so you got 15 minus 10 and 15 we're evaluating which means we should have an actual numerical answer so 15 minus 10 is just going to give us 5 
Okay, number 15 says the difference of 26 and 15. Difference is the same thing. So difference is subtraction. Okay, difference means subtraction. So we got 26 minus 15. Sorry, somebody's messaging me on my. Okay, so that's going to be 11. Okay, the next section is the same thing, order of operations. Um, so it starts with P, it's our PEMDAS. So that means um, Okay, um, our PEMDAS, so we're going to do our parentheses first. So the first one, 5 times 5, we get 25. And we haven't done anything with the division yet. And then we got 1 plus 4 um, is going to be 5. So we're going to have a 5 for this part. So now it's really 25 divided by 5, which is just going to give us 5. Okay, the next one, same thing, we use our parentheses first. So you got 1 minus 4 is going to give us a negative 3. So we got 3 minus 6 divided by 3. So our PEMDAS says, please excuse, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so please is our parentheses, excuse um, is going to be exponents. We don't have any exponents. My is going to be multiply. Dear is going to be division. So our division is next. So 6 divided by 3 is going to give me a 2. So 3 minus 2. Okay, now the only thing we have left is subtraction. So 3 minus 2 is 1. And that's going to be our final answer. Okay, 21. Same thing, we're still doing our order of operations. So we got um, some parentheses and some multiplication. So we're going to do our parentheses first. So 1 minus 4 is going to give me a negative 3. A dot, okay, on this, this means multiply. So, and you can't really see it on here, so I'm going to draw the little x instead. Times negative 3 times negative 5. Okay, multiplication, it doesn't matter the order that you do it. So it doesn't matter if you do negative 5 times negative 3 first, um, or you just go all the way straight across. So a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Okay, so, and then 3 times 3 is going to give you 9. So 9, and I haven't done anything with the multiplied by 5 yet. So I got 9 times negative 5. Um, a positive times a negative is always going to be a negative, and 9 times 5 is going to be 45. <clears throat> okay, and then the last couple, um, it's still order of operations, okay, but you're just plugging the stuff in instead first, okay? So um, we got 6 plus... And instead of y, my y is negative 6. Okay, and we're going to use parentheses to kind of separate these. And instead of my x, uh, it's negative 2 squared. And I'm sorry because my handwriting is pretty sloppy, and I know how you guys feel. Um, so I got negative 2 squared. Um, it's going to give me a negative times a negative is going to be positive. And 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. So this part I'm going to have 4. And then I got a negative 6 plus 6. Okay, so I got, please excuse, I did my exponents, uh, my, which is multiplication. So the parentheses right next to each other means multiplication. 
So we need to multiply these two. So negative 6 times 4 is going to give me a negative 24. And I still haven't done anything with this 6 plus negative 24. Okay. Um, you don't really need the, my, uh, the plus sign, but you can keep it there. Okay. So um, it's really just 6 minus 24. Okay. Which is going to be negative 18.